Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth tutorial of Information Technology for Class 10th offered as a vocational subject by CBSE. We were discussing about Unit 3 that was Digital Documentation and here is the fourth session of it. And today we are going to discuss about Managing Styles. Before learning Managing Styles, let's find out the definition of Styles. So Styles are predefined or customized options used for creating good looking professional documents with least efforts. Okay, let's understand this definition in simple language. What is predefined and customized options basically? They are group of formatting elements available in Microsoft Word or in any of the digital documentation. It can be open office. Okay, so what are the formatting elements basically? Font, font color, font size. Then we have alignment option is also there. Indentations are there. Then we are having different different formatting elements just like bold, italic, underline, then superscript, subscript. So various type of formatting elements when grouped together. Okay, means you are selecting a specific specific font, a specific font color, a specific font size, and you are grouping them together in a single word, or you are going to access all this formatting style using a single word and that can be applied using a single click that is known as style so styles the advantages part of styles is that the various group uh, this uh, formatting elements are grouped together in a single unit and can be applied with a single click of button so you are applying multiple effects using a single click of button that is the advantages part of styles and second one is it provides a professional look to your document okay so in this session we are going to learn about three things over here the first one is how to apply styles second is how to modify pre-existing styles and the third one is how to create new styles okay so let's begin with the first option that is applying styles to word document so for that I am opening a word file over here this is my Microsoft Word file. Um, so for applying the styles, first see where style option is given. Onto this home tab in Microsoft Word, we are having a group styles. This is a style group over here. You can find it over here. This is your styles option and some pre-created styles are given over here. They are already created by Microsoft Word. All these are the styles. What you have to do to apply them? You select your content and just click over them. And this particular style will be applied to your content. Okay, for this, uh, for applying the styles in my file, I want to type a lot of text over here. And for that, I am having a very nice shortcut for you people. What we have to do over here for typing a demo content in Microsoft Word, you have to press equals to sign then use the word R A N D R A N D stands for random R A N D stands for random and after this press enter key the moment you are going to press the enter key you will find your word document is filled with a demo text for practice so you can use this option for your practice also so now I am changing some uh, styles over here. Color I am black kar leti hu. Yes, fonts are very big in size. So I am reducing its font size too. Okay, now we are going to apply different different styles over here. And for this purpose what I am doing? I am writing some headings over there. Uh, this first paragraph is about the video. So I am writing video over here. Online videos I can write online video now I want to make it title so how to make it a title so in the style type you will be finding a predefined style by the name title click over here the moment you are going to click over here see my title is changed uh, see on to the second para also to make a document professionally something header something related to header and footer footer is written in demo content so I am writing header and footer here 
I selected the content and then I clicked on this heading 1 style. So see the difference in heading 1. So whenever you are going to press heading 1, you will be getting same stuff of style over here. So this predefined styles are given over here. You can select any one of them. And for changing the styles, you are having different different options over here. See heading 1, heading 2, quotes, strong. So all these are the predefined styles given over here. So this, uh, this was the first task that we have to perform. Now the second one is how to modify the existing style. For example, this heading 1 is written but the color of the text is very light. So I want to make it dark and I want my letters to be little, little big. So what I am going to do, I will be click clicking a right click over here. And as I am going to perform a right click over here, I will find a modify option over here. See a modify option is given over here. So I am clicking on this modify option and as I am going to click on the modify option I will find a dialog box over here where name of the style is written and options are given to change the formatting elements. So I can change font from here. I am changing the font as well as I am changing its color. So I am making it little darker and I want to increase its size too. So I am taking this 26 points and after this I am going to click on this OK button. The moment I clicked OK button see the formatting of my style is totally changed. Same thing can we can do with heading 2 also. Just right click over here, modify here and then select any of the formatting element that you want to associate with this particular style. So this was the second option that is modifying styles. Okay. Now the third option was how to create a new style. For creating new style what we have to do? At the end of this styles group we are having this arrow. Just click over here. The moment you will be clicking over here you are getting the option create style. See I am hovering over here. So this is my create style option. Just click over here. And the moment you will be clicking you are getting a dialog box that ask you about the name of the style. So suppose name of my style is my style. After putting the name of the style just click on this OK button. The moment you will be clicking OK button you will be finding my style somewhere else over here. See it is given over here. This is my new style and formatting formatting will be similar to the last option selected. Uh, basically I have applied style 1 over here. So same formatting is given to it and we can modify it as we are having the option for modification of the styles. So right click over here, modify, click on the modify option and then make your own style. So I am changing a font from here. See I am selecting a font. I selected a font. Okay. So second one is I am going to select my size also. So I have selected font size is 36 making it little bit bolder. After this I am going to select its color and then I am setting its alignment. As I'm, I just want to make it a type of heading style. I am not setting up the line spacing and paragraph spacing no index nothing else I am setting. So that's it from my part. Now I am going to click on this OK button and I am getting my new style over here. So this is the way you can create styles. So that's all in today's tutorial. Thank you.